With every passing day, the recession is one step closer to knocking at your door. Sadly, even Elon Musk warns of it and it's becoming scarier and scarier. Are you wondering what you can do to survive the brutal storm? Don't worry, because we've got you covered. In fact, I'll show you how you can keep yourself from being affected by the storm. Elon Musk has made it clear that the direction of the economy is eerily similar in terms of magnitude compared to the 2007-2008 recession, otherwise known as the Great Recession. And since history tends to repeat itself, let's take a look at exactly what happened during this painful time. A few years prior to 2007 and 8, there were incredibly low interest rates as there were major reductions in the prime rates the rates that dictate the interest rates of general loans like mortgages. Naturally, this spurred people to start buying homes because they were much more affordable than ever before. So, the demand was super high and everyone was making a profit of buying a home. This started to push home prices even further and further, which was better for the people selling and the banks because they could make more money on the loans they were giving out. However, in 2005, a big shift happened because interest rates suddenly shot up. Unfortunately, this caused owners of homes who were previously on a very low prime interest rate to be hit with much higher interest rates. For those that don't know, there are two types of interest rates, fixed and variable. Fixed interest rates do not shift with the economy. It's usually the best option to take this if you aren't sure if you can handle economic downturns. Variable interest rates can look really appealing, especially when the rates are extremely low. But when an economic downturn happens, it may be impossible to afford your home. This is exactly what happened to people from 2005 onwards. What followed with the interest rate increase is that many people started defaulting due to the extreme payments for their homes and lives they couldn't afford, along with the demand for homes going down. This caused people to not be able to sell their homes, and the nightmare just kept going. Even though this was bad for the banks, they wanted to protect themselves from further damage and terminated loans for some people because these loans were a part of their asset pool. Namely, they were making money on these loans. This recession became so bad that some companies even went bankrupt, like Chrysler. This eventually sparked the Federal Reserve of America to make a move that injected funds into the American budget to help preserve jobs and job creation and make sure that unemployment insurance covered a broader spectrum. The worst part of this is that didn't just affect America, but the entire world. In fact, Latvia dropped 25% in their GDP, or gross domestic product, which is a measure of how healthy and well an economy is doing. So being down 25% is like being 25% less healthy. But what does this information mean? If you know what it means, leave a like on the video to let us know. If we take a look at our current situation over the past three years, the similarities between 2007 and 8 are scarily similar. The interest rates during 2020 through 2022 were incredible. And if we take a look at them now, they've skyrocketed. Yet again, making homes almost totally unaffordable. The one major key here is debt or loans. Fortunately, Elon has made it clear of what we can do to make sure that we don't get swept up in the storm. Firstly, you need to find ways to increase your capital, and secondly, to make sure that you're careful with debt. When it comes to increasing your capital, the world's your oyster. It may seem like an incredibly difficult thing to do, but there are so many resources out there that can help you develop things like a side hustle. For example, take advantage of a resource like Udemy, where you can have some amazing resources for a low price if you buy the courses on sale to learn virtually anything you want. For instance, you can take some courses on learning web development and become a coder, which is a very lucrative career that is slowly branching away from their employees who need a degree, but just some solid experience. Some other options are freelancing, which is a variable income, but it also can be very lucrative. Or you can look for part-time opportunities to be an Uber, Lyft, or Amazon driver, because these businesses are highly unlikely to be destroyed by the economic downturn. The other element to increasing your capital is to decrease your expenses. What comes with that is being financially disciplined and knowing what are the best choices you can make with your money. 
Firstly, cutting out anything unnecessary from your budget will be extremely important during this time. Secondly, make sure you lower spending on things, even if they are necessary, to make sure you have a good reserve of cash. If you'd like some information about tips and tricks to save the most money possible and enjoy a frugal lifestyle, then subscribe to Investors Weekly and check out our many videos on the topic. In fact, Elon Musk mentions two things. Firstly, he says to be cautious with margin, and secondly, which is a direct movement from being cautious with margin, is to save your cash for now. Musk has made it clear in a podcast that the recession happening or not is dependent on us. Unfortunately, he believes it's much more likely that it'll happen than not, as the Fed has increased interest rates by 0.75 points in the last four meetings, and is set to increase it even further. And that's after the collapse of one major bank, the Silicon Valley Bank. On top of that, Elon says that we're likely to see more jobs being cut from workers for the businesses to survive, and that could very well mean your job too. No one is really safe during a recession, so making sure you do what you can to save your money now is key. As was said previously, loans are the real culprit here, and the more you have, the more likely you are to fall victim to the storm. One of the biggest issues is known as margin. Margin is the term for investors where they'll borrow money from a broker to take bigger positions in the stock market. To use it as an example, it's like buying a pair of shoes for only 30% of the full price and the store covers the rest. However, you can only keep the shoes if you make sure they're kept at a specific quality. If the quality drips below, then the store takes the shoes away from you. Unfortunately, this happened to a lot of people in both 2008 and now. When people are on margin and they see prices of stocks starting to drip, they'll close out their positions. This just further prompts people to close out even more positions, pushing the prices further down. For the unlucky few, they'll get a margin call, which is when the loan can't be maintained because you don't have enough money in your account. This means two things. One, the bank will either liquidate your position, basically leaving your account totally empty, or two, you can inject more of your own money and try to keep your assets alive. However, you end up taking a major hit and it's very difficult to recover. Funnily enough, the recession becomes much more threatening the greater use of margin. In 2008, the margin debt rose 60% and something very similar happened in the Great Depression in the 30s. Not surprisingly, the same thing is happening now. The worst part is that the recession always affects the poor and the average people more, which are people just like you and me. Despite Elon Musk saying that recessions are a necessary part of the economic cycle, it's still tough to get through. Elon Musk's words here are very useful to listen to. According to him, the best thing to do is just to wait until 2024, 2025 before you consider investing because that's likely around the time this recession will be over and you can see your assets start to make money again. During this time, saving cash for emergencies and difficult times is key and will likely be a huge saving grace in case things turn for the worse. But what do you think? Is it best to save your cash or to do something else with it? How are you preparing for the recession and what tips could you share with the community? Let us know in the comments below. We're looking forward to hearing from you.